I asked the ladies from the Women's Institute in New Zealand and the CWA in Australia for their favourite slice recipe. And the lovely ladies in New Zealand shared with me their recipe for chiffon cake, which is a little bit different to what I'm used to. It's a three layered slice recipe and the base of it is made out of crushed biscuits. So I'm gonna start with that. I've got about 300 grams of milk arrowroot sweet biscuits, but I'm told if you're in New Zealand, you can use wine biscuits. Now I've placed them in some Moltex freezer bags and I'm doing this the old fashioned way. So in it goes. And I've got this massive rolling pin to do some crushing. <laughs> so this is the fun bit. You can get out any frustrations from the day. <laughs> crush, crush, crush. And you just want it until it resembles fine bread crumbs. <laughs> so I've achieved a nice crumb with my rolling pin. I'm going to pop all of this into a large mixing bowl. Now, the original recipe was slightly different to what I'm doing. So we've, I've adapted it just to make it a little bit simpler. And I've got some melted butter here. Let's pour that in. And this is just a super easy base for the slice. Give it a good mix. So this has come together nicely. You can see that it's sort of sticking together there, holding together. So I've lined my baking pan with some Maltex bake. I'm gonna pour the biscuit base straight in there. Just smooth it out and press it down. Now if you've got one of these little spatulas, you can also use that to press it down. So this can go into the fridge for about 30 minutes to chill and set. The second part of this slice is mixing together one tablespoon of gelatin with half a cup of warm water. I've also got two egg yolks just going in there and a little bit of vanilla extract. I whisk that all together and I'm going to add this to some Italian meringue, which I've already mixed up. Now, Italian meringue is just your standard meringue. Egg white, sugar. I'm gonna mix that all together. In it goes, and I'll just mix it on medium speed till combined. That'll do. All right, I'm gonna go and grab my slice. So the base of the slice is set. Now this layer of the slice is like a cross between like a marshmallow and a mousse. So just spread that out. So once that's smoothed out, just cover your slice in some Maltex cling. And this can go back into the fridge to set. So the slice is set. If you touch it, it feels like marshmallow. So just take that off the cling wrap and grab a Maltex piping bag. I've whipped some cream up here. I'm just gonna fill my piping bag with some whipped cream. And this is going to Garnish my slice. This is the final creamy, yummy layer. And that goes. Just fold this carefully. So just give me a piping bag a bit of a twist, and I've got the star nozzle attached to my piping bag. I'm gonna make some little rosettes. Hey, that looks really lovely. And just to finish this off, I've got some fresh nutmeg. I'm just gonna grate that all over my slice, which is my special edition. Lovely. And to finish this off, I've got a little grated chocolate. And I tell you what, my family in New Zealand would absolutely love this slice. 
I might even cook it for them one day.